Hi, it's Jill from the Professional Services team at Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to create two access rules in our firewalls. Uh, for the examples, we'll be configuring a WAN access rule and another access rule to reach an IP that is on a separate zone uh, within our network. And for that, I'll be using RDP. Uh, when creating access rules, best practice uh, tips, I guess, would be to get granular and allow least privilege. When creating access rules, try not to use any, like any service, any uh, destination. I also recommend that you remove rules when they're no longer needed. Uh, do not leave paths open when they're not required. Uh, and lastly, to keep security service enabled. Uh, now, you might need to disable them depending on what kind of traffic the rule is for. Uh, for example, sometimes for VoIP, we need to um, optimize UDP traffic. Uh, and so there will be exceptions. But I recommend that you always keep your security service, uh, keep those engines going. Let's get started. So this is my TC670 lav box. Uh, first, let me show you my starting point uh, in this video i have a lan i have my wan and then i have just created this custom zone called front office um, and when i created this custom zone i opted to uh, disable the auto policy uh, because i wanted to keep this uh, segmented from my um, initial network and just to confirm that, if you click on policy, uh, access rules um, here on the top grid, um, you should select the front zone. So from front zone to all zones, there will be no access rules. Um, so currently, this zone has no internet access. Uh, it cannot talk to my other subnet, uh, and nothing can reach it. Very well, so now you know what my starting point is. Um, in preparation for this video, um, I have created uh, a group object, uh, including the services uh, HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS. And this is for our internet access. When I created this group, I labeled it as web surfing. Um, also, in preparation for our RDP access rule, I have the IP address for the LAN PC and the front office PC. Uh, and these computers have static reservations that have also been uh, taken care of in advance. Um, I also created the service for 3389 RDP. Okay, so let's get started with the front office uh, internet access. Um, let's go ahead and click add. Um, here you'll see uh, an option to name it, a description, the action for the access rule. We are gonna click allow. We're gonna leave it as auto prioritize. Um, and down here on source and destination, this is very easy. Here you're gonna uh, select the source, so front office. And our destination is gonna be the WAN for the internet. Our source address is gonna be any from the front office. Uh, the destination will be any address from the WAN. The services, we are going to start with any service. Uh, and we are going to destination, we are trying to reach um, HTTP, HTTPS, and uh, we want to also allow DNS. Um, so again, I created these um, objects and I grouped them together under web surfing. If you click on the little information icon here, you can confirm what services uh, includes um, or are included in my web surfing group. So there it is again. We're going to allow all the users to use this. We're not going to exclude anyone. Um, security profiles here, we are not going to change anything. We're going to leave it um, as is. But you do have some options um, to change the um, default security that you have enabled for the zone. Okay, so let's go back again. F source, front office, any address from the front office, any port from the front office can initiate. Um, and the destination is gonna be to the WAN for only the services in my web surfing group. I'm gonna click save. Good, so now you have the um, internet access rule. Um, here you have the number of hits so you can see if it's being used. Uh, it's kind of handy for troubleshooting. 
and it is my currently it's my only um access rule from the front office um, again remember we want the front office to be isolated great so um now let's do the RDP. Um, I was directed to allow a computer from our LAN to be able to reach a computer from the front office zone um, via RDP. So let's get started. Um, again, I'm going to allow destination is going to be from our LAN. The address, I created the object um, for this address, for this PC, and I named it LAN PC. Of course, you might have a, a more specific name. Um, we're going to allow the source service to be any. The destination um, will be in the front office, and the computer that we want to RDP into um, is labeled under front office PC. So again, here's the addresses so you can verify. And the service that we are going to allow is um, RDP. Good. I'm going to hit save. Um, when um, configuring or allowing RDP, make sure your uh, devices are enabled to uh, allow RDP as well. Okay, so um, oh, you don't see the rule we just created and that's because our grid is currently um, set to only allow us to view front office to all zones. So we're gonna change it from LAN to front office and you'll be able to view the new, the new um, access rule policy that we created. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and that you learned a thing or two. Um, one more thing I'd like to add up here at the end is that um, the rules that I created today are just part of a configuration. Um, as a network uh, engineer, I encourage you to consider other uh, complementary access rules that would work. Um, for example, you could add ping, uh, enable ping for that front zone uh, coming in from that LAN PC. Um, and perhaps you also could do a deny all uh, to harden even more um, that firewall configuration or that firewall security. Um, and we create this purpose driven rules. So we're only permitting traffic we deem safe and productive for our business functions and everything else should be denied. Um, which at the end just increases productivity and maximizes our business resources. Um, and the most important is that uh, it reduces our exposure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel uh, so you're notified of future video releases. And come check us out at firewalls.com where you can find our large selection of top rated security brands and learn more about our managed services.